Welcome to Reaching for the Moon. Virgin Galactic has been very quiet since we last reported on them. However, this week, Virgin Galactic is back in the news. So let's get an update on their activities. After two years, Virgin Galactic finally flew their VSS Unity spaceship into space once again. It was a successful flight that took off and returned to their base at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Six Virgin Galactic employees were on the VSS Unity spaceship, which made it to suborbital space on May 25th, 2023. Two other employees commanded the carrier aircraft, the VMS Eve, which took off with the VSS Unity spaceship under its wings. VMS Eve then released the VSS Unity spacecraft at roughly 50,000 feet. At that time, VSS Unity fired up its rocket motor and flew higher than 50 miles, high enough to reach space. The VSS Unity then coasted back to a safe landing at New Mexico's Spaceport America. Here's a short video recap of the Unity 25 mission. The flight, named Unity 25, was the first powered flight of the VSS Unity Spaceship 2 since July of 2021, when the vehicle last flew with passengers on board, which included founder Richard Branson at that time. Both Unity and EVE went into extended maintenance periods after that flight and only resumed test flights earlier this year, with Unity making a glide flight on April 26, Virgin Galactic said before the flight that if all goes well, this will be VSS Unity's final test flight before beginning commercial service. Virgin Galactic's first commercial flight, Galactic 1, could now take place as early as late June 2023. The Galactic 1 flight is scheduled to carry three mission specialists on a dedicated research flight for the Italian Air Force. Space travel tickets originally sold for $200,000. However, today the current ticket price is $450,000. Virgin Galactic is planning to increase the size of its fleet so that it can increase its space flights to one each day. In other related news, Virgin Orbit, a sister company to Virgin Galactic, that was focused on launching satellites to space using a small rocket recently filed for bankruptcy. Virgin Galactic subsequently announced it would sell off Virgin Orbit's assets to several other commercial space companies and exit that business venture. Virgin Orbit's a separate organization and its failure should have no effect upon Virgin Galactic. This completes our update on Virgin Galactic. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, then hit the subscribe button to be notified every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching, and remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.